Guess what? More camos to grind. So today, we're gonna be getting the 19th melee weapon we've seen in this game and getting the axe dark matter. So I went ahead, threw the battle axe in here. I unlocked this by playing zombies. I actually unlocked this time. I didn't buy the bundle. Crazy stuff happening here. But I unlocked this in zombies by killing the abomination 15 times with 15, 10 times with melee weapons. But this is what it looks like. First, we gotta put on some attachments. I think I'm gonna put the ray gun on it. Nice little touch. Ooh, that's a big spot for a sticker. Are any good stickers in here? That's what my biggest gripe with this game's cosmetics so far is there's like not very many good stickers like they don't match well with the guns or the camos you know what i'm gonna go ahead and leave the sticker blank but as you can see it is level one i have no camos with it not a single kill i actually haven't even seen gameplay with it yet so let's go ahead hop in a game and see what the battle axe is all about and of course this is the class i use for every melee weapon when it comes out double smokes double tomahawks with danger close field mic pack mass so i don't get stunned quarter master so i can recharge those tomahawks and smokes and ninja so they can't hear me coming up on them all right, we're here on Yuban. This has to be probably the worst map for melee weapons, but let's check the inspect on this. Pretty nice. I mean, you don't get to see a whole lot of it, but at least it's not like the bat where you can't look at it at all. Let's see what the swing's like. Ooh, it's kind of fast, actually. Looks like it's got a little bit of range, too. Somebody's in here for sure. Oh, I missed him. Missed him again. Come here. Oh, let's go. Eat the Tommy. Oh, we're back in it. We're back in it. A Tommy within the first minute of gameplay. That's what we like to see. Who else wants one? Buy one, get one. Oh, you didn't want one. I've been seeing a lot of people complain about the melee weapons coming in and the amount of them that we're getting. But honestly, these are some of my favorite weapons to grind. It's really just an excuse to use the tomahawk and work on like movement. So I'm all for them adding more melee weapons. I'm pretty sure we're getting a hammer. I'm pretty sure we're getting a hammer and sickle too at some point. I thought that was going to come out before this, but it has not. So... Keep the melee weapons coming, especially if they're going to be good. Because so I think the hammer and sickle, if they ever do release that, might be faster than the size. And that's going to be crazy for zombies. Really wish there was Nuketown. I go hard on some Nuketown. Let's go. We already got this level two. Double weapon XP coming in clutch. Come here. Go on. Oh, they're the first camo. Oh, no. What the? What? All right. One thing I will say, it seems like this thing has no lunge. Even a slight amount of lunge helps with the melee weapons a lot because it kind of just does that auto tracking for you. Like when you're up close, it's a little hard. But with the lunge, it just makes sure that you get that hit in. But so far with this ax, it seems like you need to be extremely accurate with this thing. Like it's got a fast swing speed, but the cooldown from it is slow. So you can swing it real fast, but you have to wait a second before you can do it again. Ooh, where'd I go? Where'd I go? Oh, come on, dude. Let me get that kill. Oh, get Tommy. Who else wants one? Throw some smokes out. They can't see me. Get the Tommy. Where'd that guy go? No. Everybody's sniping on you, Bon. This is such a weird map to snipe on, but I'm all for it. Owned. Owned. Put down the field mic. Put on a smoke. Oh, where'd I go? Where am I? Got him. Somebody pushed through. Go ahead. It's safe in here. Don't worry about it. Idiot. Come here. No. I said, come here. Let's go. Ooh, get that Tommy. The Tommies are back. All I needed was a melee weapon. No, get over here. Oh. Okay, so the swing is not very accurate. Either that or I'm just not used to it yet. I probably need to take a few games to get used to this. This was Nuketown. I'd have a nuke by now. Does this guy see me? He for sure does. Oh, got behind him though. Not the other guy. Go ahead, peek. I'm baiting him. I'm baiting the shit out of him. No, I still died. One more Tommy before the game ends. Let's go. Okay, we went 16 and 22. It is our first game with this, so we're not used to it yet, but I'm having a fun time. But it is a one-hit kill. Good thing they didn't make it like the size. At least the size were one shot to the back. But I'm going to go ahead and grind these camos out, so I'll see you guys when we have Dark Matter.
As you can see from that last clip, we did end up getting the battle axe dark matter. And let me tell you, this thing fucking sucks. There's been some bad melee weapons in this game, but I think this one might take the cake. I've never seen a melee weapon up close right in somebody's face miss not once, but twice on multiple occasions. You can be right up next to somebody, touch your noses, swinging that thing at them, and they will kill you faster with their gun butt than you can with the ax. This thing is very inconsistent. It feels like the lunge comes out whenever it wants, like it has a mind of its own. And just the, the hit reg on it is completely like, abominable. You can't do anything with it. Anyways, this is what it looks like with gold on it. And it's actually kind of clean. And this is diamond. Very clean. Diamond always amazing coverage. And here is dark matter. Like I said in the Axe Dark Aether video, I wish there was a way to get more coverage like down the handle or something. But it would be too much dark matter. But pretty clean. But let's go ahead and hop into a game and see what it looks like in there. You know what? Every time I try, I try to get nuked down. I just get hijacked. We're not doing it. All right, we're here on Gluboko, whatever the hell the new face-off map name is. I actually kind of like it. But this is what the axe looks like with dark matter on it. Really, really clean looking weapon. All right, now let's go ahead and get some kills with it. Put on that smoke. Somebody's over here for sure. Bop them. Oh, I missed the Tommy. Why did my map pull up? Now, this did take me a few days to complete. Uh, I actually missed the day of uploading because of how long it took. But I swear, it's just because this weapon is ass cheeks. Ooh, there we go. I think the camos that took me the longest to complete were my sliding kills. Because the hit reg on this thing is already so terrible, like I mentioned before, that getting kills while you're sliding with it is just immensely more difficult i already have a problem getting sliding kills with melee weapons and then with this thing having the accuracy that it does and the just the rate of which it hits people it is damn near impossible Ooh! but the best thing about it is that i'm mainly using tomahawks to get kills i actually had quite a few nice clips with this though despite all the shit i've been talking about it Oh, that could have been one right there. Because even though it's probably the worst melee weapon in this game. I mean, I wouldn't say the worst, but it's it's pretty close to it. I still had fun doing it, but that's probably just a personal preference because just melee weapons are a lot of fun to me. Oh, watch this. Put him in the arm bar. Good night. Oh, shit. That dude wasted no time coming to avenge him. I think another one I kind of had issues with with the kill enemies in smoke or like stun or whatever. But then I started playing on this map. And this new face-off map is actually really nice if you're using short-ranged weapons, like the, the new shotgun or this. You know, don't bring any weapons that you need long shots with in here, unless they are, like, very short-ranged guns. But getting kills in smoke and all that, one smoke covers about a good portion of the map. So that helped me knock out this camo pretty fast. Same with putting down a field mic here. Like, face-off is just really, really good for grinding camos. And then this map just takes the cake. This is just, like... This game's shipment, almost. I don't think it's quite on par with shipment, but it's it's comparable. Get Tommy. Wait. Oh, I missed both of them. I didn't even mean to throw that second one. Where am I at? Where'd I go? Hey there, pal. No! Oh! See, that's what I'm talking about with this thing. I was close enough to be in range to get gun butted, but not close enough to hit him with the axe. Like, what the fuck is going on with this thing? It's so inconsistent. And the thing I was talking about with the lunge... Sometimes you'll swing it and it'll like auto lock to people. You actually lunge forward and you can hit them. See like right there. I was right next to him. If he was an AFK, he would have definitely killed me. This guy's getting an arm bar. But the lunge, it only shows up when you really don't need it to. I've seen it more. I've seen it happen more in zombies than I have in multiplayer. And in zombies, you don't really want too much lunge because that can just throw you into a pack of them. But here in multiplayer where you want it, it doesn't come out. Right there, I missed it twice, and I was in his face. There are so many times with this weapon where I lost out on fights against people with other melee weapons. Like, anyone with a knife was beating me. Anybody with, like, a bat was beating me. Doesn't matter if I swung first or anything. They would get their speed in. They would have the hit reg. They would make it out of the fight alive. Just like I did right there between those three. If you're gonna grind a melee weapon, I would not recommend this. Even though it looks cool, it's a big battle axe. It can't hit for shit. See, that gun butt right there had way more range than the axe ever will. But I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. In conclusion, this weapon is a piece of shit. Uh, now that I got it gold, they're probably going to end up buffing it. The same thing that happened with the E-Tool. So be on the lookout for that. But if you guys like this video and you want to see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't, you don't. Dislike if you're new here. Please consider subscribing for all kinds of COD content throughout the week. 
that's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.